I'm new. I'm behind the camera right now because Kitty and Belle are going to be sharing a journey project with you. They're going to talk about cold weather clothes packing and some specifics about camping. So the next time you think about going when it's cold, here's some advice. Go yeah. ahead. Okay, so we're going to start with things that you know not to bring. Okay. So first of all, a bathing suit, which okay. you can only find the bottom of. Okay, so they've got such a mess, they can only find the one piece of bathing suit. Okay, we'll just so we'll toss there. that. Shorts with a short sleeve t-shirt. That's not okay because you'll get cold real fast. Yep, and you can get and you can get frostbite. Could you could you wear this as a layering piece under stuff? Yes. Yeah, you can wear that as a layering piece. Okay, but, but not so plain is... because your arms will get all frostbite. Okay. Short socks. Short socks. No shows are a no go. No shows are and a no go. And shorters and the best socks are knee socks. Okay, for so. when it's long. Camping. Those are a little long, but you're saying yeah. knee socks are better. Okay, good, good deal. Okay. okay, let's get rid of those. I'm making a pile on the floor. We'll have to clean up Another later. Oh, church shoes or sandals. Okay, so no, no fancy cutesy shoes. No. Okay, those aren't those aren't good for camping, anyways. No. Okay. Lip flops, cause you could get hurt with them. We'll talk, I've seen toenails fall off because we'll they got about, hurt while wearing. Flip -flops. We'll talk about the tips later. Right. So we don't take our flip flops. Nope. Winter camping. Shower shoes only when we're overnighting, but you're right. No, so no flip-flops for winter okay, camping. An extra shirt. That, Another. Yeah, we'll keep for that for layers. Okay, that's layers. Now for the winter stuff you should bring. All right, what should we put in our bag? First, trash bag. We perhaps mentioned trash bag. One to put your stuff in when you're going, and maybe an extra in case that one rips. Why do we put our stuff in trash bags? So that it doesn't get wet, because it, especially mm -hmm. if it's cold, if you get if your stuff gets wet, it's going to be a real bummer. And what what cold. what should be on this trash bag? Your name. Your name. name. And if you're in a unit, put a unit. Mm -hmm. Okay, your name. Gloves are a and a mitten. Gloves yeah. and hat. Gloves and hats. Mm -hmm. Now, if we were going to be outside. Well, we want um, maybe some waterproof gloves too. Yeah. These yes. are got their gloves folded together. So okay. something like this. Uh, do we wear these around the campfire? No. Okay. Whoa. So but we wear a little hat. This is for both of them, but you always need a first aid. Okay. Kit. So we'll make yeah. sure there's one with camp. Good job. A first aid kit. We'll keep that. A black t-shirt to attract the sun. Oh, dark colors attract yeah. the sun. That's a that's a good tip. Good this idea. Is, okay. This is good for layering. Layering piece. You pants. You switch those pants. shorts out for a pair of nice long pants. Okay, pants. so pretend I'm wearing a long okay. sleeve shirt, and this was on me. <laughs> this would be that would be layers. A long sleeve shirt. Plus a short sleeve. To okay. Keep you. So we put the sh long sleeve on under. Under. Okay, maybe. Because okay. If you want to wear a cutesy shirt, then you can't see it. Oh, okay. Good idea. Good idea. Very nice. Okay. Long so. socks. You need them. They also they also give you longer to catch ticks. Mm -hmm. If there's any around. Mm -hmm. And they're great for keeping your legs extra warm because they count as a layer. <coughs> So this is two ideas of jackets. One is a sweatshirt or just a thin, thin jackets are not good for regular camping, but so, these are. With the hood. Uh-huh. Okay, so we got a, our sweatshirt. Okay. A coat is a great idea because it's winter, extra thick and it'll keep you warm. A winter for coat. Long. So you're gonna need a warm sleeping bag. This one is goes down to you can use it in temperatures plus 45 degrees Fahrenheit or 7.2 Celsius. Okay. Yeah, don't show them the bottom. Oh, ish. Oh. <laughs> oh, here. I can show them that part at the bottom. What they're talking about right here 
is that the um, temp ba sleeping bags are rated, and this is a kid size bag. So if it was going to be near freezing, would this bag be warm enough? No. No, but this would be a good one to wear or to use outside. Very good. That is a Girl Scout sleeping bag, isn't it? Yep. Their name was on the bottom, so we covered that part up. Yeah. You need a nice and warm blanket so that Our you can Our extra blanket. Keep if it's thin and you have a, like a knitted or crochet blanket, but they have lots of holes, and the holes will get you, your body cold because the cold air will track into the blanket and on you. Okay, very good. Okay. And last, winter boots for snow. If there's snow on the ground or a chance of snow, mm -hmm. uh -huh. these are you tight fitting. And you can put everything in a backpack. In a what? backpack, in our, in our or trash our, bag, right? Yep. Like a special, okay. like special lovies. Okay. So what else to mention is first dress in layers. Oh, you need to dress in layers because it, because the more layers you have, the warmer you'll keep. Because the hot air stays inside with layers. Mhm. Mm um. Never wear flip flops or sandals. Cause yeah. I, one of my friends. They stubbed their toe and their toenail fell off while they were wearing flip flops. In a garden. Yeah, in a garden. Yeah, that wasn't cool. Buddy system means always stay together. Is that just for winter weather? No. All time. the time. All the time. Okay, These what else? These are for all the time except for dressing layers. Okay, okay, what else? Leave no trace. You have got to leave no trace because if you leave a whole bunch of things like trash, animals could get hurt and if it's out in the wild that'll ruin the wild mm -hmm. feel because there'll be candy wrappers mm -hmm. and soda bottles mm -hmm. so leave no trace and the last thing that we need to mention is not too many stuffed animals because <laughs> i have a whole bed full of animals stuffed animals and i want to bring all of them but you can't because then you won't have stuff for the stuff that you need that's important. You won't have enough room for things such as your sleeping bag, blanket, because mm -hmm. it'll be Extra stuffed change with... of clothes. Because what's the rule for Girl Scout camp? One or two stuffed animals. Well, what's the rule about the bag we bring? You have to be able to what? Carry, carry it. it. Who carries it? Yo. We. You. You carry it yourself? Yeah. Uh -huh. What about the yarn behind you there, Belle? Do, do we need yarn? Belle no. always has yarn. No yarn? Nope. <laughs> no extra stuff like that. We don't need that for camping. No. Anything else? But you always need a super new cape. <laughs> You'll have to come to an in-person camp to learn about super new capes. Yep. Awesome. Is and, that it? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. So next time we want to go cold weather packing, Dress in layers, bring warm clothes, leave the summer stuff at home. Oh, and always bring a water bottle, no matter if it's winter. Mm -hmm. Winter, you still need to bring a water bottle because you just can't drink water. Stay and hydrated, because if hydrated. you dehydrate, I don't think you want to camp in the hospital. Right, right, no. so you can dehydrate even when it's cold outside? Yeah. Because if yes. you're far away from a hospital, you yeah. could probably get... Well, let's not worry about hospitals. Let's worry. <laughs> No hospitals for camping, y'all. Nope, you don't awesome. want to have fun in one. Okay, good. Okay, we're done. We will see. How about you're done? Is that yep. all? Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll see, see you later. later. Bye. Bye.